Pell. Understanding Biochemistry, the Foundations of Life. Hey everyone, welcome back to our biochemistry series. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of biomolecules and cellular foundations. So, grab your notebooks, and let's get started. First off, let's talk about the fundamental unit of life, the cell. Whether it's a simple microorganism or a highly specialized cell within a multicellular organism, they all share remarkable similarities. Cells are the structural and functional units of all living organisms. Living organisms, cellular foundations, genetic foundations, physical foundations. Biochemistry is all about understanding the structures, mechanisms, and chemical processes shared by all living organisms. It's the science that helps us unravel the mysteries of life itself. We'll be exploring the foundations of biochemistry, which include living organisms, cellular foundations, genetic foundations, and physical foundations. Life on Earth began around 4 billion years ago, and since then, organisms have evolved and diversified. We'll explore the three distinct domains of life, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya. These domains are home to a wide variety of organisms, each with its own unique sources of energy and biosynthetic precursors. Cellular Foundations the E. coli cytoplasm, bacterial and archaeal cell envelopes, eukaryotic cells have a variety of membranous organelles, chiral and achiral molecules, molecular conformation. Within cells, there's a world of complex structures and processes. We'll take a closer look at the cytoplasm of E. coli, the differences between bacterial and archaeal cell envelopes, the diverse membranous organelles found in eukaryotic cells, and the fascinating world of chiral and achiral molecules and molecular conformation. Genetic Foundations Genomic comparisons, the role of RNA in prebiotic evolution, the first cell probably used inorganic fuels, and changes in the hereditary instructions allow evolution. Large-scale sequencing studies have identified many genes in which mutations correlate with a medical condition. The proteins these genes encode might become the target for drugs to treat a given condition. Genetic foundations are crucial to understanding biochemistry. We'll explore the importance of genomic comparisons, the role of RNA in prebiotic evolution, the use of inorganic fuels by the first cells, and how changes in hereditary instructions have allowed for the gradual evolution of living organisms. Physical Foundations Reaction coordinate diagrams, enzymes promote sequences of chemical reactions, catabolism and anabolism, metabolism is regulated to achieve balance and economy. The physical foundations of biochemistry involve understanding the chemical reactions and processes that drive life. We'll delve into reaction coordinate diagrams, the role of enzymes in promoting chemical reactions, the concepts of catabolism and anabolism, and how metabolism is regulated to achieve balance and economy. Now, the plasma membrane is like the gatekeeper of the cell. It's composed of lipid and protein molecules, forming a thin, flexible, hydrophobic barrier around the cell. It's like the security system, separating the cell's contents from the surroundings. Inside the cell, we have the cytoplasm, which is the internal volume enclosed by the plasma membrane. It contains the cytosol, an aqueous solution, and a variety of suspended particles. The nucleoid or nucleus stores the cell's genome, which is the complete set of genes, composed of DNA. Moving on to biomolecules, are compounds of carbon with various functional groups. They are the building blocks of life and play crucial roles in the structure and function of cells. All right, let's dive into some stereochemistry. We're talking about the spatial arrangement of atoms and how molecules can exist in different configurations and conformations. It's like solving a puzzle in three dimensions. Now, let's shift gears and talk about energy transformation in living organisms. From photoautotrophs to chemotrophs, organisms differ widely in their sources of energy and biosynthetic precursors. Enzymes are like the superheroes of biochemical reactions. They promote sequences of chemical reactions and greatly enhance reaction rates without being consumed in the process. They're like the catalysts that keep the cellular machinery running smoothly. If you've ever wondered about the metabolic pathways of chemotrophs, it's like a complex roadmap of chemical reactions. It's amazing to see how different pathways lead from one to the other, and how a change within one pathway can affect another. Principle 1, Cells are the fundamental unit of life. Cells are the structural and functional units of all living organisms. The plasma membrane defines the periphery of the cell, separating its contents from the surroundings. 
The cytoplasm contains the cytosol, nucleoid or nucleus, and other organelles. Principle 2. Cells use a relatively small set of carbon-based metabolites to create polymeric machines, supramolecular structures, and information repositories. Cells build supramolecular structures held together by non-covalent interactions. In vitro studies may overlook important interactions among molecules. The cytoskeleton is a dynamic network of protein filaments in eukaryotic cells. Principle 3. Living organisms exist in a dynamic steady state, never at equilibrium with their surroundings. Living organisms extract energy from their surroundings and employ it to maintain homeostasis and do useful work. Essentially all of the energy obtained by a cell comes from the flow of electrons, driven by sunlight or by metabolic redox reactions. Principle 4. Cells have the capacity for precise self-replication and self-assembly using chemical information stored in the genome. A single bacterial cell placed in a sterile nutrient medium can give rise to a billion identical daughter cells in 24 hours. The genome encodes the instructions for forming all other cellular components. Principle 5. Living organisms change over time by gradual evolution. Living organisms change over time by gradual evolution, resulting in an enormous diversity of life forms fundamentally related through shared ancestry, as seen at the molecular level in the similarity of gene sequences and protein structures. Molecular anatomy reveals evolutionary relationships. Homologs are proteins encoded by genes that share ready detectable sequence similarities. Gene or protein sequence similarities between organisms can determine phylogenetic relationships. Functional genomics shows the allocations of genes to specific cellular processes. Genes can be grouped according to the specific process in which they function. This can approximate the proportion of the genome dedicated to a specific process. Housekeeping genes are expressed under all conditions and are not subject to much regulation. Metabolism is the overall network of enzyme-catalyzed pathways, both catabolic and anabolic. It involves the use of a relatively small set of carbon-based metabolites to create polymeric machines, supramolecular structures, and information repositories. The role of RNA in prebiotic evolution. RNA or ribonucleic acid can act as catalysts in biologically significant reactions. It likely played a crucial role in prebiotic evolution, both as a catalyst and as an information repository. RNA or related precursors may have been the first genes in catalysts. RNA or similar molecules may have been the first gene and the first catalyst. Alternatively, simple metabolic pathways may have evolved first, perhaps at the hot vents on the ocean floor. Biomolecules first arose by chemical evolution. Miller and Urey experiments found that biomolecules may have been produced near hydrothermal vents at the bottom of the sea or by the action of lightning and high temperatures on gaseous mixtures. The first cell probably used inorganic fuels. The earliest cells probably obtained energy from inorganic fuels, such as ferrous sulfide and ferrous carbonate. Photosynthetic processes arose from evolution, capturing the energy of light from the sun and reducing CO2 to organic compounds. Eukaryotic cells evolved from simpler precursors in several stages. Three major changes led to the evolution of eukaryotes, the evolution of the chromosome, the evolution of the nucleus, and the formation of endosymbiotic associations between early eukaryotic cells and aerobic or photosynthetic bacteria. Evolution of eukaryotes through endosymbiosis. Early eukaryotic cells, which were incapable of photosynthesis or aerobic metabolism, enveloped aerobic bacteria or photosynthetic bacteria to form endosymbiotic associations that eventually became permanent. Some aerobic bacteria evolved into the mitochondria of modern eukaryotes. And that's a wrap. If you found this information interesting, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting updates on biochemistry topics. Until next time, take care, and happy learning! Pharma Pal.